Welcome back. In this video, we're going to begin our study of geometry by introducing you to some of the definitions and the details and the notation. The notation is extremely important that you will be using in geometry uh, for the rest of the school year. So we're going to begin by defining a point, and a point is simply a location in space. It's denoted by a capital letter, um, such as the letter A. So you might have just a point, so some point, and you might see, you know, okay, that label is A, or that point is B, okay? Um, and then we'll just denote the point as B. You'll just see B as point B. Then you know that that is point B or point C. Okay, a line, our next definition, a line. A line is made up of an infinite number of points. So we're going to have all sorts of points uh, that all kind of come together and make up that line. Okay, a line is going to be straight. And it's going to extend infinitely in both di directions. And that's denoted by the arrows on both sides of the line. So that's important that those arrows are there. Then I know that that continues on in both directions. And it's named by two points on the line. So we might have points A, X, B, C, D. Okay, we have all these points, and we can choose any two of them to name the line. And notation again here is super important. Okay, um, we can name it by its two points. So we could call this line AB. Okay, we could call it line. CD, those are two different names for the same line. This is the exact same line. Or you could call it DC. Or you could call it BA, that's fine. Uh, but the important thing is you've got a line above that because that will differentiate from a segment or an array, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Okay, so I know this is line CD. Or we could denote it by a small letter like T. So just on the side, that's line T. Okay, so then I know, okay, that's line T. And if I just see a small letter, then I know that's a line. It's not a point, it's not a ray, it's not a segment, it's a line. And that's implied by the, the uh, lower case. A segment is very similar to a line. It's made up of an infinite number of points. So once again, we have all our points that uh, cram together to make up this segment. So again, A, B, uh, C, D, E, and all the other points in between. And I'm going to put one point on each end here. Okay. And I'm going to call that one X and that one Y. Okay. A line again is, or a segment is straight. And it has a definite beginning and end, where X and Y are kind of our endpoints of our segment. Okay, and we name a segment by its endpoints. So this one we would call segment XY. Notice I just put the segment above my two letters here. Now we could call it segment YX. That would be the same segment. Segment BC or segment DE, that would be different. That wouldn't be this whole segment. Segment BC would just be the area in here. So if I wanted to do, oops, I never did change the color of my pen. Okay, so if I wanted to look at this segment here, that would be segment BC. Notice again, the segment, and that's just this little segment here. It's not the whole segment XY. Array, array 
is made up of an infinite number of points, just like the line in the segment. It is also straight, like the line and the segment. But it extends infinitely in one direction, denoted by the arrow here on the end of the segment. So it starts here at one end and extends infinitely in the other direction. Okay, and it's named by two points. Okay, right, we have our infinite number of points on here. Okay, we have all sorts of points. Okay, we'll call that A, we'll call that point B, we'll call that point C, D, and Z. Okay, so it's named by two points, um, but not just any two points like a line is, okay, it's named, always begins with the end point. So this ray is going to be ray A something, ray AB, ray AD, ray AZ, there are three different names there. For that exact same ray. Okay? That's not equal to ray DA. Okay, we can't do that here because D is not the endpoint and our ray is not going towards A. S starting at A, it's going towards D, it's going towards B, it's going towards Z. So ray DA, totally wrong. Okay? So the name ends with the other point on the ray. An angle. An angle is defined as two rays which share the same endpoint. And that endpoint is the vertex, the vertex of the angle. Then the rays make up the two sides of the angle. So I would have a ray that might extend out that way ray A, B, and then I might have another ray that extends downward that way, ray A, C, and so our angle here, our vertex is at A, in this case it's A, and this would be our angle made up of those two rays. Okay. We can name angles in a variety of ways in this particular one, we could call this angle A, or in our notation, a. Or um, we can use two of the points on the rays and our vertex, and the vertex always goes in the middle, so that would be angle BAC or angle CAB, all three different names for that same angle. Union and intersection, we have seen this before. Union is all items and all the sets being evaluated. Everything gets represented, that's union, okay? So intersection, that's simply overlap, the overlapping items in the sets being evaluated, okay? Or what's common to both. Union, everyone gets represented. Intersection, like the intersection of 35th and Wisconsin, just that overlap, okay? A triangle, the last thing in our video here, a triangle has three segments as sides. It's the union of those three segments. So we might have segment AB, segment BC, and segment AC, and we have triangle ABC. It's made up of three sides. It has three angles as vertices. Our angles are A, B, and C. And the intersection of two sides is the vertex. We talked about that already. Okay, A is a vertex, B is a vertex, C is a vertex. Okay, and a triangle is named by its vertices. So again, this would be triangle A, B, C, or we could call it triangle C, B, A. Uh, we could call it triangle B, A, C. Those are all valid names for that triangle. So, and again, the notation is important. If you leave the triangle part out here, then I don't know what A, B, and C are, okay? That's gonna be different than angle A, B, C, right? Angle A, B, C is just this angle up 
in. And that's all that is. So notation is very important in geometry. Kind of the devil is in the details. Okay. So hopefully in this video that you saw the difference between a point, a line, a segment, an array, and you understand the different notation for a line, a segment, array, and an angle, and a triangle as well. And that wraps up this first section, and we will see you in class.